Hello everybody, welcome to the video. I'm actually probably going to say that in a different location. Yeah, I was going to say, didn't you already welcome them? No, that was just a trailer. So like once we're down in a special place, then, then I'll welcome you to the video. But got everything packed up, got a few of my shirts still drying, but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we are just getting ready to head out. We have one stop to make before we actually go to the airport, but then to Philly and then oh. to the beach. So excited, so excited. So we made it to the airport. Greta's being really annoying about just knowing everything about it's directions. It's all reading signs. It's not that hard. We'll see you after we're through security. So we are in the airport. We got to the terminal and realized we got here really early. Thanks, Logan. So we have like two hours. Um, so we decided to go get some Annie Ants. And there's some art exhibits, so we're gonna check them out. So they're able to be either 2 or 3D, but their limitation is that they have to be under 6 inches in height. So you have some mixes of like photography, but then a lot of hand-drawn stuff, and then a few little like clay figures. Okay, and so our favorites are mine. Is this little guy, this little penguin right here. And then number two for me and number one for Greta RBG. is the little Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So yeah, there's like this little museum here, but then also going down this way, there's like crocheted stuff, so there's like chairs, stuff crocheted along the windows. There's also like this entire pillar that's just yarn. And then they did some of the ceiling tiles. But yeah, it's like a whole little art exhibit going on right here. Take off. Goodbye, cold weather. Yeah, seriously. Goodbye, cold weather. So I know it's going to be kind of hard to see me, but we just got here. Um, as you can see, it is dark now. We actually stopped at the grocery store, met up with my parents. And so now we have officially made it to the house. So we need to unpack some things and slap the ocean.
Hello everybody, I apologize for the wind noise, but as you may be able to tell, it is the next morning. Uh, we kind of just got in last night, uh, put everything together, and ended up watching Fool's Gold with Matthew McConaughey, which if you've never seen it, great movie. Oh, the sun's bright. So, welcome to the house. So as you can see, we obviously have a pool. My parents are living down in this lower area where my wife, myself, my sister, and her husband are all living upstairs. And that's my father. And there is some version of a jellyfish. So we are currently located just below Isla Mirada. Uh, which is in the middle of the Keys. So we had a, we flew into Miami and then drove probably about an hour and a half to meet them at the grocery store last night. And then maybe another 10 minutes to get to the house here. As you can maybe see up there, Greta's uh, reading up on the balcony. But yeah, uh, it's a little windy today. But so far, the forecast for the week is supposed to be sunny and like 70 to 78 degrees. So water's a little choppy right now because they had some rain, but should be a beautiful trip. Okay, here you go. Should be able to see me. So what am I doing? Okay, so. Uh, there was a coconut that fell over by the house, so we're going to open it up and see if the coconut inside is actually any good. We'll see how this goes. Right there. In the center. I feel like he works hard enough for me to have a pina colada now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have hit lunchtime, time to get a snack. Just been kind of hanging out today. I don't think today's really gonna like amount to any interesting activities. Unfortunately, we did go out on the stand up paddle boards for a little while. And so as you can see, oh, it got real, got real windy around that corner. So as you can see here, this lighter section is maybe maybe a foot deep so uh the stand-up paddle boards kept getting like beached there and yeah we just kind of like walked around hung out there for a little bit and then we came back and we've just been sitting by the pool hanging out with floaties having a beverage or two but yeah I guess I haven't shown you inside of the house yet. So, um, we have the front door. We have Greta. We have the door that we come in, nice little table here. Uh, we have this patio. I can go out and show that to you in a little bit. Uh, my sister's room and bathroom are over there. Uh, we have our kitchen. We have a living room. We also have this massive wall of mirrors, which does make the space feel huge. Um, and then it's a little disheveled, uh, mostly my stuff, but this is our room and all of our wonderful sun bum products. But then we also have this beautiful, uh, like wall of windows that we get to wake up. There is a curtain inside here that we are able to use. There's also like hurricane shutters on the outside if it's seriously that dark, but to give you an idea of how much tint there is on these windows. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit brighter outside than it happens to be inside. So, for the patio that we have out here, give it a second to adjust. Uh, a few lounge chairs, this nice big uh, umbrella that you're able to put out. And we have a little seating area, table that we can eat at, and a little propane fireplace that just can hang out around. 
But yeah, it's a nice house. And I mean, just getting to look at that view all the time is oh, so beautiful. But yeah, so probably a later day we'll actually head out on the stand-up paddle boards. Uh, just because today is supposed to be one of the windier days and then it should smooth out a little bit. So stand-up paddle boarding will be a little bit more enjoyable without the waves just like continually pushing at us. So, what you doing, Greta? <laughs> Making some pina coladas. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we're gonna eat some lunch now and then probably just some more relaxing this afternoon before it sounds like we're gonna probably go out to dinner somewhere just in Isla Morada up the street. Okay, so we are headed out to dinner at La Lazy Days. It's a place that my mom wants to go in Isla de Muerta. Not that. Isla Morada. Uh, not the island of death. That's from Pirates of the Caribbean 1. Um, which we'll probably watch tonight. But we're headed there for dinner this evening and then we're also probably gonna go to the Bass Pro that's in the Keys here. Um, and then probably stop at the grocery store to grab a few more things because you never get it right the first time. But check out these people. Oh my gosh, make sure that we're in focus. But goodness gracious, looking amazing. A lot of blue. It is a lot of blue, but hey, you know, Greg's got this super cute dress. And then I got these like, my pants got rolled slightly with the loafers and ugh, these wonderful linen shirts. Uh, they're just Amazon shirts, but boy, oh boy, linen, <laughs> so much air, throw, air flow through these shirts and it doesn't matter how much I sweat. And since I sweat continuously, it just stays light and airy. So see you after dinner. Just all in that water over there, just pelicans. Pelican circling around. It's just, you know. Oh no, those are seagulls. Look at but, that guy sitting on the pylon. Yeah, you see, like oh, there you go. down in the water here. Just goodness gracious! Look at those birds. It's like that scene in uh, Jurassic World. Uh, yeah, rough times. So we actually stopped by the Hurricane Monument on our way back to the house. Back in World War I, there was a hurricane that there were over 200 mile an hour winds and a bunch of people lost their lives, including some of the veterans that were building the bridges down here. And so they have this very nice crypt kind of thing that has the ashes of some of the people who perished during that time and on top of it there is a map of the keys but one of the things that i find to be the most interesting is as we've been traveling some of the concrete around here actually has the coral just embedded in it and so yeah there's just different pieces of coral throughout the concrete because that's the rock supply that they have. It's easier to get the rocks that have the coral inside of it than try to ship in straight rock from somewhere else. Also, there's a bunch of little geckos running around. That, there's a little guy right there. And yeah, so just stopped by here and headed to the grocery store to pick up a few things but dinner was delicious. Although they had little key lime mints, which Greta got because she thought it was just a mint, but it was a delicious key lime flavor. And she does not like that at all. Hello, this is Logan from the future. I am closing out the video from our living room. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up comment one of your favorite things about going on vacation and if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you can stay up to date on all the videos as they come out thanks for watching 
and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.